Alright, so let's go ahead and begin. Um, sorry, alright, so essentially what's going to happen is when I give you this file, however I do give you this file, um, you're going to open it with WinMar or 7-Zip. You're going to extract it to your desktop or anywhere that you know you have room. And you're going to go ahead and open it. And um, let's see. Depending that you're on a laptop, let's go ahead and install. Let's go ahead and start the setup process. This normal setup is right here. Hopefully this is great quality because if it's not, then you won't be able to see it at all. So go ahead and click um, the file that just says setup. Usually it's going to ask you if you want to open this. Click yes. And it says it will be installed on the computer, blah, blah, blah. Go ahead and click yes on that. Go ahead and click accept. And it says make sure you have uninstalled any previous version, which you, you don't have any other previous version, so that's okay. So you're going to go ahead and just click install. Make sure you keep the uh, if it's the default installation folder, just go ahead and select that and hit copy. Now go ahead and just click install. It'll install an audio device driver. Go ahead and just install it. Alright, so once that gets done and is completed, go ahead and just click OK. Now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up any folder, so like My Documents. And you'll want to go ahead and paste or go to that same location that it was installed to. So this would be essentially in C Program Files and Virtual Audio Cable. So after going into that, open up your previous folder and let's see I have to make sure which version this is installed to since I'm on a desktop mine was installed to the 64-bit version which is the normal program files but yours might be installed on the times 86 version so go into whichever folder or whichever yeah whichever folder yours was installed to find retro audio cable Go ahead and enter that and open up the previous folder. After doing so, go ahead and select a version. Now, I'm on a 64 bit PC. Or Time 64, I'm sorry. And so I would be opening this folder right here. I would be copying all these files. And then open up the other folder that has the installation files. And I would be pasting them. Go ahead and copy and over, copy and replace them. Overwrite them. Click continue, and then they will be replaced. If you're on a 32-bit version, you want to go ahead and go to the times 86, and do the same thing. You can go ahead and close that folder now. To begin, what you want to go ahead and do is open up. I'm sorry. <laughs> Go ahead and open up the uh, audio repeater. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, right here, this little blue icon. Go ahead and click open that. And this is your cable management control panel. The main thing that you'll be doing to this as of start is go ahead and over at the top right here, it'll say cables one. What you want to do is go ahead and set, let's say three and click set and then it'll just pop up asking you requested privilege operation blah 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 I'll go ahead and select yes um, okay I'm not sure what's going on here if you get an error you might have to restart your PC upon restarting your computer 
um, go ahead and go back to the same exact folder where you installed the program originally from. Open up the blue icon and go ahead and go ahead and set three. And after three years set, you can go ahead and just click the exit button. Now after that's set, you can open up the... let's see what this is. What is the difference? The difference between these two... Well, I don't even know. Um, at the top one will say kernel streaming. Go ahead and just get rid of this window. We don't need that window. If you're repeating more than one audio into something, well, let's go ahead and open up, say, another one. Now, once we have two open, all right. So I want to unpeat my headset microphone into line one, which we can change the name later on if we ever get confused go ahead and just click start now my headset microphone is streaming into line one and let's go ahead and stream uh, an onboard microphone which could be stereo mix let's go ahead and stream that into line one as well now we're using such applications to use such audio let's go ahead and test it out now upon using such a site or uh, your favorite browser go ahead and go to whatever site that you happen to want to use this on mine would be Kageshi in the NG Rock radio room I'm gonna go ahead and allow this allow and remember now upon selecting your microphone you can you have a variety of all these right here line 1, 2, and 3 like you configured in the program. You also have the default and whatever microphones you have attached or stereo mix as well. Now remembering which line you used, which would be line 1, go ahead and select line 1 and close. Now if I had any cams to start I would, you know, obviously <laughs> test this but I don't so let me go ahead and go out of the virtual machine going ahead and coming up go ahead and go to the little settings and my my setup is a bit different off the virtual machine so you'd be selecting line one so essentially you'd be streaming your laptop microphone as well as stereo mix and in that you also have an extra volume thingy you can mess with and you could turn you could turn them down if you wish so the headset would be this one right here because it's modulating because I'm talking into it you can always turn that one lower if you wish your your music to be higher and that's as simple as m adjusting your your volumes. Going back to Kageshi, you'd select line one, and then you'd simply unmute it. Showing my setup of how I use audio repeater would be a bit different from how you want yours to be. These two top ones are my microphones. The blue snowball is my one that I use that you hear right now. I have that one going into line three. And my headset microphone, which I use when I walk away from my, my main microphone, is also going into line three. So once I start these, that means that they'll be working. So if you restarted your PC, you're gonna have to start them again, select the same process, and hit start. The priority level can be an issue, but it's mainly never an issue. 
down here I have my stereo mix going into line 2 and I also have my two mics going into line 2 so if I want to stream music while I'm also talking I can just easily, easily lower my stereo mix which streams my music so people can hear the music in the background as well as my voice and again when I restart my PC I have to open up four of these and select them again if you wish to change the name of them, you can bring up your sound after going to control panel. You can scroll down on the recording tab. You can right click these, line 1. And you can change the name to whatever you want and click OK. So that way they will also be different. once you, you know, obviously, cl obviously close these <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and change back to, to line one <laughs> strikes alright so that is how you set up audio repeater to use now if you have more devices that you can um, use per se then setting up this should be no problem for you and that is uh, the non-complicated slash complicated of setting up audio repeater um, the files you can buy audio repeater or you can get them somewhere else illegally I'm not going to link them to you so bad on your part sorry I hope everyone has a great day, and I hope this tutorial helped you a lot. Thanks for watching.